I have this coworker. He told me that his relationship with his truck lasted longer than his relationship with his wife. So this letter, this poem is a letter from the truck to the man. <laughs> when registered to be yours, my engine howled, excited. Metallic butterflies dancing in my transmission. All your wings moving obedient to your touch. Tell me, stop. Go, when you floored me, we sped off. Figure we drive in the future so long, horizons will envy the length I love stretches while time just gets crushed across my grill. All your memories rest in my headlights. Some of your most life-lifting decisions were born on my patent leather seats. For example, marriage. You remember? Memories of your proposal still make my bright light seem bleak in comparison, and you know you should have made me your best man. Because my cup holder held her wedding band before anybody else. But parking lot watching your wedding still made fireworks and my spark plugs. My love for you became seat warmer on both sides. Look, there was no jealousy. Accommodations were made for her, for you. When your lives merged, she became ride or die. But your deepest thoughts were still vaulted inside of me. Years later, and you still share things with me that wifey couldn't hold. For example, her changes, your suspicions, tensions weighing on my suspensions. My insides started to get colder when y'all rolled together. Remember when my alarms rang at 3 a.m.? She was tiptoeing back into your bed, John. I wanted to warn you, John, but I'm just a fucking truck. My only languages are lights. Horns and Morse code of striped highways when she left you, John. Fifteen years after she met you, John. I saw it coming from horizons away. But no windshield wipers could sweep the weeping waterfall from your eyes. And you thought marriage counseling could patch the leak. But your screams told my dashboard that when she's there, she never speaks on that day. You hauled your dead relationship into my back and the body bag of your heart. Your fist told my steering wheel you were tired. Your feet told my gas pedal no more running in circles. Your fingers made ride or die a question my ignition was not ready to answer. This secret was too big for my glove compartment. So you closed the garage to keep my hazards from snitching. You told me that after tasting the fumes of all your exhausted options, my exhaust fumes were your final resort, John. I know my leather seats never made you bend backwards for love. And it's sad to think your only lasting relationship is with a fucking truck. But I can't be your lover and your killer. But I can take you away from here, John. And all we have to do is keep driving.